Okay, update. This will be part four. Let's take a look at the rotors. These got less than five to ten miles on them. Hopefully you can see that. You can see where definitely there's a high amount of heat. More on this side, the passenger side, which would barely rotate. With a heck of a lot of force so it could actually move the wheel. This side, you don't see as much wear. Again, hard to see with the lighting, but you can see a little bit of the heat stress marks on the outside of that one. Not as bad as this one. This one you can see it all the way around where the tension was. So when I took it apart, I looked at the e-brake where it connects down in here. The hardware. Right there. It had a, it was applying a little bit of tension. <clears throat> and see where the cable clips in? That was like stuck in the middle position. So what I did was sprayed PB blaster. Just that simple stuff right there. <clears throat> Three or good four times just soaked it all down. And on both sides. I use that uh, the craftsman light there to heat up that side and the um, turbo heater to heat this side. And then I came in the vehicle and started disassembling the um, the bracket that holds the emergency cable in so I could uh, loosen the cable up and see what's going on back there but in the process of moving this the, the lever around for the emergency brake <coughs> I came back and I looked and um, you know the emergency brakes just went right back in position just um, just from that PB blaster a little bit of heat and working it back and forth and I was back to operating normal the other problem was on this side, the caliper guide pin, one of them was functioning, the other one was froze. I got these all greased up, cleaned up, put back in. So that was definitely a big problem. I had to uh, use a lot of heat, just a little uh, propane torch and we can see the heat marks there. Had to you know heat it all up quite a few times. Spray the PB blaster in there, work its way loose, and uh, this side was totally froze. So gotta clean that one up, put it back on. Got a new kit, the guide pins and the seals. Um, I did buy emergency brake rebuild kits. They had. Uh, Two different ones I was on and didn't know which one, so I picked up both. But like I said, that PB blaster broke it free, so the emergency brake, you know, was operating fine. So we finished this bracket up and uh, both it all together. But that was um, my fault. I'm not paying attention when I originally did the brakes to check and make sure that these were, you know, sliding properly, functioning properly. So, so uh, get this thing back together. <laughs>